Recently, we told you about two moms who say they were drugged and in the Bahamas. Hey, now officials at the resort they were visiting say their account doesn't match their security video. Jesus Emma Christ. Emma spoke with a nurse who helped the women who says she believes they're telling the truth. Listen, <clears throat> before we even get into this, bruh, always. Why is it always this fucking bullshit? Huh? Why is it that people make, women make bad sexual choices and then in hindsight, in order to absolve themselves of whatever social liability or embarrassment or just any consequences that exist, that they will fabricate whatever lie they need to fabricate in order to get themselves out of that situation. Why is that just a common trend that we see over and over and over again. Why? The thing is, it is human nature to do so with certain people, uh, well, with everybody, but yeah. women abuse it because they are seen in a, as a victim and vulnerable. So they know that and they're self-aware of that. Um, That's now, true. So it's, it's easy they to tell a story it. like right. that if society considers you kind of prototypically the victim should any thing happen right. Right. between because you and somebody else. Anybody yeah. does that. Like anybody, men, women, <clears throat> children, or everybody. So, yeah, that's why sometimes when people do stupid shit, I'm just I'm confused as to where the the natural instinct for self preservation is because I'm like, even a child would know to lie in this scenario. Yes. Why are you saying what you're saying or doing yes. what you're doing? Yes. But yeah, all right. Let's see what happened here. The two moms who say <coughs> they were drugged and on their all girls vacation in the Bahamas are hitting back after doubts have been cast about their account. Let's see. There have been comments suggesting that the women were making the story up. Amber Shear and her best friend, Dongela Dobson, say their ordeal took place when they took a day trip ashore from their cruise ship, the Carnival Elation. They claim the tropical drinks they were offered were drugged. I came to being by my assailant. The moms showed Inside Edition photos of bruises they say they were left with. But Pirates Cove, the resort where the race allegedly took place, says upon further review of the surveillance videos, the allegations made on site and in subsequent social media posts and news stories conflict with what the time stamped surveillance videos contain. The lengthy videos have been handed over to the local police. Uh -oh. Now, this nurse is coming forward to say, in her opinion, the two women are telling the truth. <laughs> okay, well, let's. let's... Let's, let's 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 keep it factual, right? First of all, the nurse is not a competent witness. Yeah. I don't care. Like the nurse, first of all, you're a nurse, not a doctor. So second of all, we're not calling you as an expert about even their injuries. Mm -hmm. the, the doctor is gonna be the one to testify that the injuries are consistent with sexual assault. Mm -hmm. That's what the doctor is gonna say. Mm -hmm. And showing me pictures of your legs is in, is insufficient to, to 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 prove that because you could have got beat up. Anything could have happened to your legs. So like you. So first of all, where's the doctor? Second of all, if the if the tapes basically demonstrate, cause they say they conflict. Conflict seems would seems to suggest me to me that, you know, you say you got a drink and then passed out somewhere and got took somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yet, maybe the videos show you doing something else the entire time. Right. <clears throat> maybe it shows you never getting the drink or shows you getting a drink and then mm -hmm. being fine afterwards and continuing to do whatever. Mm -hmm. Like your story doesn't match up with the tapes, which would make sense if you're fucking lying. Mm -hmm. And it would make even more sense if you're stupid as fuck to, to think that just because you went to the Bahamas that they don't have security cameras. Right. I believe in 100%. LaDonna Batty said okay. she was why'd you put her in here? Like, why'd you put that nurse in just, here? I believe her. So what? Who cares because, what you think? Just because you collected evidence on them doesn't mean that it wasn't consensual. Like, you also have to true. prove the fact that it wasn't against their will. Yeah. You can have consensual uh, sex and um, still have those type of evidence that you're collecting from them after that, they, that's they all, claim that's also it. True. So it's just like you sitting here saying that you believe them is crazy. off of just the, the, the data that you collated, uh, collected off of them is crazy because you don't even actually have the steps or facts because somebody can... You weren't there. Right. Ver verbal actions and stuff like that have to happen other than just what is seen, like that's why it's it's super interesting not. to me, right? When people report these type of these type of things, right? And because this is the news reporting it, right? And in the news report, you get them getting the opinion of a nurse, not a doctor, 
and someone who is not privy to the necessary facts to decide whether this case is actually true or not. Well, I'm not going to knock my nurses because we actually are. No, no, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, what I'm, you're not hearing what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know the necessary facts. Right, right. Because just right. what you said, she, she, it's about consent. Right. How could she know that? Right. So when she's saying, I believe them 100%, like, based on what, bro? Mm -hmm. You don't even know them. Right. So it's not even like, I would, I'd believe a family member in this scenario more than I would believe that nurse. And I wouldn't even believe a family member either because they're biased. Right. But at least the family member knows you and knows how you behave. Right. They know what you would look like if you were really distressed or, or if you were fucking lying. Right. You nurse who just met them, you don't know these people. Your ability to tell whether they're lying or not is absolutely dog shit. Right. You, you were only privy to physical evidence, right? So you don't you you have no way to understand whether... Um, how the scenario went down. How the scenario went down. Like... Tell me more about the toxicology. That's what I want to hear. What was in their system? Right. If anything. Right. Where, where is that? Because they're claiming that, so where's the toxicology? But but it's just but. interesting. But I'm not even saying it didn't happen, but the way that it's being reported is wildly suspicious to me. Yeah. And yeah. when you give on when you add on the fact that what we're talking about is an alleged crime and they and the news calls on someone, I believe her hundred percent. Why the fuck did you put that in there? <laughs> Why did the producer say I'm gonna put that clip in there? What does that do? Sympathy. Sympathy. That's but, all it is. Like, what, believe all women. What is that, yep. bro? Yep. Why did you put that there? That's yep. nothing. It's worthless information, as I just explained. So why? Why is that? Make that make sense to me. Think about that. It was a horrible scene. They were having a hard time forming sentences. So okay. I was thinking, as a practitioner, let me get all this documented. Let me get all these details for these girls. Toxicology. Because they're not going to remember some of it. They were drugged. Toxicology. Those girls in that, that state, it, it, was, it was awful. Something happened to them that they will carry for the rest of their life. But, but what was it? Attorney Nicholas Gerson Toxicology. spoke to reporter oh. Allison Hall. What do you make of the statement that Pirates Cove uh, said that the surveillance videos and the time codes of those surveillance videos don't match up and don't align with the story that your clients are telling? If they have documentation or video footage that they claim pokes a hole in this, these women's story, produce it. They did Show produce it, the didn't video. they? That's what they said in the beginning. Last month, the U.S. They State Department them. issued a level two advisory <laughs> warning American tourists to exercise increased caution in the Bahamas and Jamaica because of crime. You motherfuckers need to exercise level, forget two, level, every time you leave, every time you leave your house, you should be on level 10 advisory. What are you talking about? Yeah. When you go to another country, don't just be wandering around like a fucking newborn baby deer and expect people not to do something to you. Mm -hmm. That can happen to you anywhere, even in the United States. But, like, another issue is that just recently, a couple of years ago, with this whole, oh, sexual liberation, a <coughs> lot of people were actually coming out from other islands saying, no, this is what women do. They actually go it's, to take it's, it's trips, not, it's women not, trips. It's not recent. Right. This is, a, this is something that's been going on for, for decades. Wow. But I'm saying they just came out and actually I know. They've been talking, they've been talking, talking about, about it. it. But so I'm saying this like, is something that's been going on for, for decades. Wow. Yes. Decades. Since right. we, before we were even born. Right. So it's just like, it, it kind of, it conflicts with the whole believing all women, like you're a victim. So this is why it's just like, when you say, all these women say, oh, I'm going on a girl's trip and it's just the girls to a, another exotic island or whatever, all it's hard to believe because we are fully aware now. Well, for men, they were aware, but now it's actually evident that y'all do this. Y'all go down there to get trains right on you by random <laughs> Absolutely. people. At the hotel, hotel staff. And that. it so won't get back up. to your, your, your man because... It was in another country, right? But to me, to, to bring it back full story, right? To me, it's like, full circle. It's like, it's very interesting to me that surveillance video, I mean, you know, we'll get more more information as this story progresses. And maybe we'll be get to see the surveillance video if they ever put it out. But if you're saying someone did something to you and then video comes out basically demonstrating that you never were where you say you were, it's just real interesting to me that even in that context, the news still found it appropriate to include this absolutely worthless information about this nurse. Talk about, I believe them. They, they definitely, this, this definitely happened. I'm like, nah, I don't know. So some happened maybe, I guess but they always, what? I guess they always have to show the devil's advocate of somebody showing sympathy for the person who 
You, you know, know very okay. well that not every news story does that. Does that? Oh, absolutely. In I fact, know that. I know that sometimes you can be a victim, and the news will start talking about your Bash criminal you. record. Yep, I know. Yes, hey. I know. Oh, I don't know. I know. Anyway, that's it for this one. Let us know what you think. Is it true? Is it not true? Do you have any more information? Please tell me, because because I want to know. Sounds like motherfucking lying already. I'm not gonna lie to you.